This is the second video on LED control. Without much surprise, before continuing, you should be familiar with controlling an LED with a GPIO pin, as outlined in the first video. When connecting an LED to the 3.3 volt and 0 volt rails, we only have four possible combinations, which are as follows. For each of these setups, we can calculate the potential difference across the components by taking the top voltage and subtracting the bottom one. This yields the following values. In the first case, we have a non-zero potential difference. Current will flow from 3.3 volts to 0 volts. Thus, the LED will light. Of course, the two setups in the middle yield a potential difference of 0 volts, as the voltages are the same on either end. Thus, the LEDs will remain off. The last case is a little different. There is a potential difference, which in this case is negative. That just means current will want to flow in the opposite direction, but still from 3.3 volts to 0 volts. Though this doesn't happen, as an LED will only allow current to flow in one direction, which is indicated by the arrow in the symbol. So this LED will not light. The important thing to note here is there is only one combination that will light an LED, and it depends on two pins. This means that there are actually two ways to light an LED using a single GPIO pin. As we've seen in the previous video, we can attach a GPIO pin and ground pin like this. If we set the pin high to 3.3 volts, the LED is on. If we set the pin low to 0 volts, the LED is off. But we could also use the 3.3 volt rail with a GPIO pin in this way. When the GPIO pin is at 3.3 volts, there is no potential difference, so the LED is off. But when the GPIO pin is set to 0 volts, there is a potential difference of 3.3 volts, and the LED lights. Notice that the two on cases are essentially the same, with 3.3 volts at the top and 0 volts at the bottom. This gives us a way to switch back and forth with two LEDs using only one GPIO pin. If the GPIO pin is set high, current will flow only through the top branch, and when the pin is set low, current will only flow through the bottom branch. In general, you can connect both ends to GPIO pins, and whenever they are set to these values, the LED will light. Of course, in this case, it would be wasteful to dedicate two GPIO pins to light a single LED. But it's good to know that you can. And in some applications, like when connecting an LED matrix, you will need to use GPIO pins on both sides, which will correspond to the rows and columns of the matrix. 